Hi, Mrs. Ryback, Jack Weston here. Of course, uh, Breck class of 1972 with your beautiful son, Michael. And we're right here over at uh, Bill Jefferson's house on beautiful uh, Sherwood Hills Road. And all these beautiful people here for our 1972 class reunion, which, which is the class of 1970, 71, 72, and 1973. And we have about 50 people here. We, we, we wish you could have been here. We know it wasn't, it wasn't practical for you to be here, but, but you are here in spirit. And someday, Either Mike or RT can maybe bring me over to see you because you don't live too far from me. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Love to see you again. I don't. Li I live like a one minute drive from you. Or if right. you invite me over somehow, I'll, I'll, I'll just show up. So I love you. Thanks, thanks. you are, you epitomize Breck for me. And I'm not just saying that because of this video. I've, I've told many people that before. You epitomize Breck. You are all what Breck stands for. Everything you did is is timeless and priceless all so right. we all love you and Thanks, best of luck Aloha. Well, one thing i don't think i ever wore it again i'm like this is just i'm doing a little is that mike's 40th birthday or something like that oh no no this that's is, the one i'm talking about that's up up in the wall oh this is but this is you know it's complicated it's not easy this is not these are not easy things but i i left a relationship all these little conversations <laughs> okay, here's Kathy Eilidson. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm so honored and thrilled to be saying hello to you. You were such an important pers in my, person in my life, and you were one of the few people that asked me about what it was like to be a diabetic, and really so true, nobody else ever asks me that, so you made a huge impact on me. Then. And today, so sending you lots of love. Wish you were here. Would love to give you a big hug. Yeah, okay? great. <laughs> All right, Mom, we're going through the party here. And here is, I forget, who, who is this? Who am I? Sherry Brings. <laughs> and now Sherry Flora. Mrs. Ryback, yeah. you were one of the most important people to me at Breck School. Yes. I just discovered a letter you wrote me at the end of our graduation where you thanked me for growing up so well. You said one of your pleasures of being part of Breck was to watch people grow up and do well. I love you for that. I will always love you. You were one of the first girls. I was. And your mom was beyond important to all of us. Oh, how nice. She also told me that even though Liz Flora looked like she didn't like me, I should live, give Liz another chance because Liz was a diamond in the rough. And I'm going to tell you to this day, Liz is my sister. We love each other, and she is a diamond in the rough. Yeah. Yeah, a very bright diamond. That's great. Thank you, Sherry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Hi, Mrs. Ryback. This is Linda Johnson. <laughs> now you can, you can okay. do it now. You have, a, you have a favorite memory. Did she ever make you uh, lower your skirt or anything like that? Lower the hem on your skirt? <laughs> Not lower your skirt. <laughs> no, but she, she told me that my father, um, she's... He sent patients to Ryback's pharmacy when you're. When oh your yeah, my died. dad's drugstore. Yeah. yeah, when it was yeah. uh, on Honeywell by Honeywell. Yeah, I, you know I don't. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know where it was, but we had a lot of things in our refrigerator from Ryback's pharmacy. The Do you really? Drill, uh, the acid mantle cream, things things like that. So huh. and and um, she told me that uh, when I went to Breck school. Yeah. So oh, that's I, I, I remember that. Yeah. So, uh, and here is... Henry Jerome. Hello, Mrs. Ryback. <laughs> it's so nice to be speaking to you, even though at a, at a remove, I have only good memories of you. I mean, that's actually true. And your sons are, of course, stellar individuals. And must be due to you. Yes. Yeah, so now she... It was not easy work, yes. raising us, raising our T&I. Yes.
I remember I remember going into her her um, office. Talking about your mom? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And here we have Here's Wendy. You want to say something to? Sorry, I wasn't there more years to hang out with you, but two years was wonderful. Thank you for letting us skip out during typing. <laughs> what else? You made that really nice picture of uh, love from your girls. Do you remember that? No, I she did. still has that. What? Wish yeah. you were here. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why she couldn't come. But hey, mom. This is. Stuart Allen. Stuart Allen, yeah. Stuart. Stuart Allen. How about that? <laughs> no, I just had to zoom in for. You want to say hi? And uh, hello there. Can I start? It's, I can't hear you. Sorry you weren't here, but we're all thinking about you, and I'm thinking about all the days I spent at your house, as well as in your office. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you're doing very well. And Stu Stuart's doing some incredible things I'll tell you about tomorrow, Mom. But anyway, yeah, we uh, remember all our play dates in the neighborhood. That was great. The play dates. Play dates, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks. All right, there you go. Hey, Lorraine, I want to thank you for many things, but one of the greatest was you me. introduced no. me. Well, yeah, your sons were good. <laughs> they were okay. Um, but you introduced me to a guy named Ed Wall, and that actually changed uh, my life because he got me into hammers, which is because of you knowing him from when he was an admissions director in Wisconsin. Wow. So there you go. Ed Wall. You take care. To Ed Wall, that's great. That's great. Thanks, Larry. Hi, Mom. I got some big news. Big news. Holly and Brian are dating again. <laughs> And here they are. Oh God, I can't. How do we switch over? All right, now, now. all right. So you're here we are. Here we are again. And you're sending it to her. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm actually gotcha, probably gotcha. just going to show her tomorrow, actually. So, uh, who do you think this is? Who are these kids? Zoom in on the name tags. <laughs> Brian Garish and Hollister Jensen. All right. So we oh. want to say hello and how are you? We wish that you were here with us. We have great memories of you. And it's a group that you know everybody here and we have fond memories and we're wishing you well and saying hello. Did she uh, ever discipline you in any way, Brian? I'm, oh, Brian? No. Yeah. She was the dean of girls. I have something to say. She would okay. discipline me because of Holly. Because of Holly. I was getting you in trouble. <laughs> so the very first day that I arrived at Breck School with high hopes and aspirations, yes. I walked down the um, main hallway with beige skin-colored nylons on because of a lack of a comma in the Breck, you know, uh, it said navy blue stockings, socks, or nylons. And I thought nylons didn't have to be navy blue. Anyway, you caught me within an hour of arriving at the school and told me that my skirt was too short and I wasn't wearing the right You know, I, I wore the flesh-colored nylons too. Yeah. And they and, were just a big mistake. And I was... And horrified. I thought her skirt was just perfect. Yeah, you didn't even know me then. <laughs> anyway, I was horrified, but I love you anyway. Oh, you oh nice. All right, these guys are real important. Yeah. And you were important to them we too. We hope to see you again sometime soon. I hope to see you really soon. Really soon. There you go. Yeah. All right. I'll tell you when. Okay. Hey, Mom, and look who I found. Hello, Mrs. Ryback. It's Maggie Deedal. And it's so nice to be able to talk to you. I, I just want to tell you, you were such an inspiration to me all the time over there. You were like this steadying influence, and I don't know if you know that. I'm sure you've heard it because everyone loved you, but I just uh, want to tell you that you meant a lot to me there, even though I probably never expressed it, but it, it, you were always there for all of us. And I know a couple of times I had the privilege of sitting in your office and talking to you, and it was wonderful to know you. Were. Thank you for all the good you did for all of us when you did it, and best of everything to you and lots of love. So, do you forgive her for telling her to uh, telling you to put uh, put down your skirt, lower the hem on your skirt? 
<laughs> you did do that. This is Ned Aaron's wife, Teresa. Hi. <laughs> do you forgive her? Or did she ever tell you to lower, uh, take down the hem on your skirt? I, I'm sorry, this is kind of personal stuff, but... I think sometimes we are wearing the wrong color. Too. Oh, yeah. Well, I know, Holly got into a thing about she was wearing these flesh-colored tights, and my mother made her take, you know, go home and change them. Oh, yeah, but Holly had great legs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> One of the things I remember best about going to your house was in Mike's room, the picture of Reverend Robinson turned into a dartboard with a dart in it. <laughs> I don't remember that. Okay, here we go. Melvin, you look pretty comfortable there, buddy. Look at this. All right, we're going to start with Marnie. You want to say something to my mother? No. Oh, hello. Are you videoing this? Yes. Oh, well, it's great to see you, Mike. And I'm glad you had uh, RT told us about your surgery. I'm glad that was so wonderful. Yeah, your That's eyes great look news. great. Thank you. Actually, they do. For the type of surgery they had. And there's Rick. Really, really well. And uh, you look just like you did before. We all, we all look exactly like we did when we were younger. I told Marnie, honest to God, this is just like being at one of the, the uh, weekend uh, parties we would have back at uh, when we were back in uh, school. Yeah, it's just like a, it's just like a break party, right, Marnie? <laughs> <laughs> because it is. It is, is like a break party. Holly, I haven't even talked to you tonight. Oh, Holly, he had one. Okay, let's go back to Jean, and no. here's my lovely Hi. wife, Deborah. I never had you in school, but you're really nice. She was a good typing teacher, right? She was a good. Okay, here's um, here's here's Jane and Nobby and Susie. So, um, do you have any special memories of uh, of Mrs. Meskin, Mrs. Well, Ryback? What did you know her as? Yeah, well, I knew her actually as Mrs. Ryback, but she did become Mrs. Meskin. I don't know if that was when we were in high school. Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm sorry, I don't remember. It was okay. How many but, times did she uh, make you put down the hem on your skirt? I don't think she oh, ever did. Really? I don't recall that she ever did. Well, you were just but too I do nice remember her setting up everybody for the prom. So. Oh, she did? She did. She did what? Oh, that's great. She set Setting up, up everybody for prom. Yeah. What do you mean she set up? Like, got different people to go to prom together. Oh, Did she oh. set you up, Mike? No, I was, <laughs> I, I was my own <laughs> setter upper, you know. Nobody no, set him up. Nobody Mike, set me up. I, Mike, I do know you taught me how to type, and I'm grateful for it, because Nadi doesn't type? know how to type. Oh. And I, I go like this, just fluidly, because of you. So thank you. I know, she taught me how to be a ten-finger typist, which really came in handy. I just so remember sitting in your little office and talking and talking and talking. Those were very special times, so thank you very much. You know, she, she had a decorator decorate that office, yeah. you know. it was a great one. It was great. I still remember it. I still remember it. I gave her a hard time about that, because it, it, it was pretty... Full of a lot of eclectic stuff, but anyway. Good memories. Thank you for driving me to school every day. Yeah. Yeah. Never forget. Yeah, we were neighbors. All right. Thank here we are, um, and here is the incredible John Ware. Hi, Mrs. Ryback. How are you? Boy, do I remember you? <laughs> I was a little bit scared. But I and I remember the girls at Brett, you of know, when mother? they came in. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just remember she would measure their skirts or check to make sure that the they came down when they kneeled. Is and that then, true? It's so true. I yeah. was sent home one day. Oh, okay. Oh, and well, the skirt but on. then the girls would walk away and roll their waistbands up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> right? John. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh come busted, on. You're giving busted. away the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I'm, I'm, I know you couldn't make it. Uh, sorry we missed you. It's great you, you know, it's great your son showed up. And uh, it's a beautiful night. And I wish you Both the best. Both sons. All right. Thank you. <laughs> a blast from the past. All right. We're getting deeper into the party here. And here are two uh, professional party goers. Okay. Yeah, Jay Johnson and George. Yeah. I remember Lorraine. Who wants to go first? I was talking. When I first started dating Sherry, you were busy counseling the two of us because we were getting weird phone calls. And so oh. we spent a lot of time in your office 
trying to figure out who in the hell was calling us. Wow. Huh. And, mystery. Yeah. Did you solve the and mystery? And she was good no, at that? we never solved the mystery, but we continued dating and we're still married. Abs yeah. Hey, that's great. Jay, you want to well, say hi? We, I know there's so much to, to talk uh, about. 1953, and my father really thought Mike was the son that he should have had because he was the uh, athlete and all sorts of things. But my uh, dad and, and Ray Ryback were such good friends, and dad didn't have many. Oh, yeah. And he was very, very uh, fond of, of Ray as I am of you, and, and you were my second mother. And I still remember when we went to uh, Expo 67 and the Bella Vista uh, Tourista, <laughs> where uh, somebody tried to shoot mom's bourbon bottle uh, through the uh, crack in the window and we right. went from there to the basement of the people at the uh, restaurant where we um, spent the rest of Expo 67 together and when oh, they we that. went to the uh, uh, the Boston Red Sox we went to that and that was my first major league baseball game with wow. with you Mike RT George Ann and mom stayed home uh, or stayed at the hotel uh, when we did that but more importantly when I was at Breck for the year that I was, your support and uh, you know confidence in me throughout the entire time meant so much, especially when you said uh, good things happen to good people when Breck let me go. And I didn't believe it at the time because I'm not necessarily a good person. But I did get hired and I was at a wonderful job afterwards and your love to my mother was phenomenal and I'll right. never ever forget that you were uh, another aunt wow thank you Jay oh, nice yeah, man remember that you're playing into my you and I know each other for, since first grade so we did yeah. Okay. yeah I know her and she she won't recognize me at all we used to do your play dates Good. That's right. I'll, I'll zoom in on your Here, thing. And I yeah. took typing yeah. class. This is the I amazing think. Steve Andrews. Yeah. But here's another guy you know. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if you know Greg. Yes, you do. Yes. Hello, Lorraine. This is Greg Rudder. I very much remember coming over to your house and spending time with your son, Michael, down in the basement looking at his wonderful photographs. <laughs> Later on, I know that you know uh, my my dear friend, Colleen Dreher, yes, who, did, who a friend of hers did your hair. And, uh, Sue Bonner, yeah. And we, uh, and Sue Bonner, who now I'm friends with as well. We, uh, and she does still does my mother's hair, Sue Bonner. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, uh, but in any case, Colleen and I spent a lot of time talking about you. Unfortunately, Colleen is this pass on, which is a devastating thing, but uh, I hope you're doing well. Peace out. All right. And here's the amazing Julia Rice one more time. For me again, thank you for showing me how to be graceful under extraordinary amounts of stress. Great. Can I say that on camera? <laughs> this is your Georgia. sister, your sister was always the coolest girl in the school. This is in Fargo. Wow. And you're talking about Georgian. Uh, Oh, well, I'm sorry. I got the name wrong. That was uh, uh, Holly no. Jepson. Sorry. Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. That is Rob Fisher. Sorry, uh, we might be old farts, but we still have to call you Mrs. Ryback because you always... Okay, here's Jim Fox. Good evening. It's nice to send the greetings to you. I want you to know I have, let's see, three grandsons and a little granddaughter. With one grandson has Fox as his middle name, Graham Fox Johnson. Isn't that just perfect? <laughs> but he won't be a hockey player. Their family wrestles. Oh. Kind of <laughs> Don't let your babies grow up to play hockey. That's what they say. So equipment we're, we're still farming west of Marshall, and uh, my wife is still swimming laps, and we just celebrated 45 years of our marriage wow, yesterday. Wow, congratulations. So, We're just at 27. Yeah. So Let's start with Ned, okay. Hey mom, look who I found. Ned Aarons, good to see you. I'm glad you're doing well. And uh, I hear you're feisty and independent, so keep on trucking. <laughs> All right, and look at this, looky here. Good evening, Mrs. Ryback. This is Peter Hagelin. It's been a while. 
Hope you're doing well. Uh, we last time we were over at the Breck campus was the old Breck campus. Uh, my wife and I were married there in December of 1972, or I'm sorry, 1977. Spent the first hour after the ceremony jumping people's cars in the parking lot because it was the middle of December. Great <laughs> memories and great memories of you, and appreciate all you've done for us. All right, thanks, Pete. All right, actually, I'm doing video. Do you know the words to this? This is I love the way you walk. I love the way you talk. I love the way you walk. I like the way you talk. Susie Q. Here comes the sun. Da 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 da. Here comes the sun, and 